When having an issue in Windows 10, before paying for tech support from someone like myself, use the Windows 10 troubleshooting tool, as it can and does resolve a lot of issues. There are more advanced methods for fixing issues, but this is a good starting point for many of the more common maladies. But whatever you do, please, 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 do not look for tech support numbers using any search engine. Now, before running anything like a troubleshooter or installing programs, the most important thing is to create a system restore point. At the bottom on the left here, click on your search icon, begin by typing restore, and when you see create a restore point pop up in the list, click on it, make sure protection is turned on for your system drive, then we're gonna create a manual restore point. Name it something appropriate, in this case, we'll call it before running the troubleshooter. We'll create the restore point, let it finish, Okay, now that the restore point was created successfully, we'll close this down. That way, if anything goes wrong, we at least have that restore point to fall back on. The first thing to do is click on Start. Go into Settings. Once in Settings, click on Update and Security. On the left, Troubleshoot. Now, there's a couple of settings on this page. When you click on the recommended troubleshooting, there's four different options. You can choose what suits your needs, but personally, I like to be able to be prompted before something runs on my system. So I always set it to ask me before running troubleshooters. Click on view troubleshooting history. As you can see on this computer, there has been none. So we'll go back again. Additional troubleshooters, go through this list. Now, whether it's to do with connectivity, other issues such as Bluetooth, if you're having, say, for example, a keyboard issue, if you click on that, click on Run the Troubleshooter. Nothing's wrong on my system, so it's not going to find anything, so we can simply just close this. Or if you're having issues with power, whichever the issue that you're having, run these and see if it fixes your issue. If we go back a step, in the past, there used to be an option on this page that was called Hardware and Devices Troubleshooter. But as of version 1809, that was removed because of low user engagement. So most of those are in the additional troubleshooters, but you can also run it with the command prompt, which I'll get to in just one moment. Now, if you have a look at your troubleshooting history here, even though I just ran two troubleshooters, nothing is listed here. And this is what confuses a lot of people, and which is why I don't particularly like this version of the troubleshooter. It doesn't list any of the troubleshooters that run in admin mode, which is the majority. So let's close this down. The more common method that I use is click on Start, go into the Control Panel. Once in the Control Panel, look for Troubleshooting. A couple of options to pay attention to on this page is you can view all, which we'll have a look at in just a second. View the history, change settings, get help from a friend. This one's really handy if you want somebody to connect back to your computer to give you a hand, including at the bottom here, record the problem that you're having with Steps Recorder, which I dealt with in a previous video, which I'll link at this point at the top corner here. Okay, let's go back. When we view all, you can see all the troubleshooters that are listed on this computer. Under the description field here, you can see it's cut off. If you double click on this line right here, it'll extend it to the maximum so you can see all the descriptions for the different troubleshooters. So if you're having any particular issue, do run these, such as, for example, if you're having problems with search and indexing. Click on Next. And here's some options of what issue are you having, such as Outlook is not showing in your search. But in this case, I don't have an issue, so I'll just cancel it off. Now, this, this is one thing that I wanted to show you. Under here, you have View History. Now, if the troubleshooter is not run under an administrative context, it'll show up here, such as Search and Indexing. At the bottom on this particular page, you'll see Include Troubleshooters that will run as an administrator. Click on that, and now you can see the keyboard and the power options that I ran previously. So those are the ones that I, I feel is really missing from the other option. So we'll close this down. What we want to do now is run a command prompt as an administrator. So you can click on Start or the Search button, type CMD, and when it pops up as command prompt, right-click and run as administrator. This is if you want to run the hardware and devices troubleshooter. In this field right here, type the command that I'll link at the bottom as well. Press Enter, and there we have our hardware and devices troubleshooter. You can simply click on Next, and it will detect any problems with your system. So hopefully this will get rid of the more common issues 
that you may experience with your computer. Like I said, there are more advanced methods for troubleshooting, but those I'll deal with in a separate video. I just wanted to give you a good starting point for what a lot of people overlook in Windows 10. Anyway, folks, have a fantastic day, and I hope this video helped you with your issues.